Cefrex Discovery is a drug discovery company. Uh, it takes about 10 to 12 years to get a drug from the idea to the market. So we work at the front end of that, the first two or three years. Uh, and our idea is to generate novel medicines that we then license to large pharma partners who take them into the clinic. I was always interested in shapes of molecules. I was working with a physicist called Andrew Armand and we realised that small drug molecules were much more flexible than people would normally thinking of them. And we realised that we needed a new way to describe, measure, characterise the shapes of drug molecules. The shape of the molecule determines how well it works with its target. People talk about finding a, a key for a lock, where the lock is the target disease that you need to open the lock with the key, or sometimes you need to close a lock. It's much more like finding a dancing partner. This ligand molecule has to find, it has to be the right shape to grab onto its dancing partner, the target protein, and they have to move at the same time, in the same ways, at the same rate. And our foresight application in Unreal Engine allows us to uh, capture that complexity of the dance so that our chemists uh, can understand what choice to make, which partner is the next best one to go with. The Unreal Engine proved to be the better fits for the needs here at C4X and it was mainly to do with the support that we could get from Epic in the enterprise base. It was the editor capabilities, the C++ code base which ties into a lot of the currently available scientific libraries. The Unreal Engine had the complete package out of all of the features that we needed for Foresight. For quite a long time now, uh, when people have been making models of molecules, and they make things like this, like a ball and stick model, but we all know that molecules aren't really like that. They're distributions of charge moving around in space. And the Unreal Engine gives us a whole load of new opportunities to represent the same data, but in ways that chemists have not imagined before. And because of that, you come up with new design decisions, which lets us make new medicines. It has been a great joy from my point of view to see Scientists use foresight for the first time and to put on a headset and to, and to go into VR. Then all of a sudden they get that this is a change, this is a different way to see the molecules. They can see things that they haven't seen before from an entirely different perspective. Traditionally, working with software, you require a mouse to interact with a computer. Being able to get away from that limitation and basically grab one molecule and grab another molecule and do what you would do in three-dimensional space in real, in real life is just to go, what are the similarities? And you play with the material in hand and then all of a sudden it clicks into place when you hold them in the right angle to one another and it becomes obvious what otherwise would be hidden. And those are the wow moments. I believe the Foresight tool will change the way we see chemistry and drug design forever. Mm -hmm.